The Dallas Mavericks are going to take the Memphis Grizzlies NBA action for Monday night with Dallas on the road, favored by two and a half. The total is up to 228 and a half here with Dallas favored in this one over the Grizz. The reported steam did come in on the over in this game. It opened, well, as low as, um, as low as I'd say 227-ish. Now let's break down this matchup just a little bit and see where these teams stand currently with, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say going, two teams going in opposite directions because we expect Memphis here to get a win soon. 0-3 uh, right now. They did cover one of those matchups. This has been a totally uh, under series in the past. In fact, uh, seven of the last eight meetings between Dallas and Memphis, and this is a pretty frequent series, have gone under the total. Now, Dallas has gone over in both games so far. They beat Brooklyn, although they did not cover. 125 to 120 is a six-point favorite. They won at San Antonio as a four-and-a-half-point favorite. Got the money in that one. As far as the Grizzlies are concerned, they lost at Washington uh, as a uh, six point as a uh, pick 'em, I think it was, or maybe they're favored by one or an un whatever it was. It was a closely rated game, and they lost. They also lost uh, to Denver uh, in a game that they got the money. However, I will I will say it like that. Let's get your comments in here and your picks on this one. Grizzlies game to go over for Ray. Oh, he does like that uh, so that steam there to go over. How about that? And let's see here. We've got Jay. He says Dallas minus two and a half. Memphis plays tough. They play gritty, but they don't have enough. No Morant, no Stephen Adams, and uh, does not like Dallas as a road favorite, but uh, he might trust them here. And we know that you know it's built into the line, or or it's here's a um <coughs> uh, so. Jay, here's something else. This isn't pointed at Jay or anybody necessarily. I, But one thing that's always said, and I've been trying to debate this a little bit of late, because I maybe have been guilty of it to a certain extent, right? There's Dre on Dallas and Mike on Dallas. Solo on Dallas, Ferner on Dallas, everybody on Dallas. But they say, oh, well, you know, that's all baked in. Is it really baked into the line? Maybe we think of, you know, my old adage. I have a, you know, thing that I call, are we sure, or do we think they're good? Kind of, kind of the thing to me. You know, a team that um, is off to a surprising start or have they been good in the past, right? And you're like, we don't know yet. And we so we don't know what a team is like without a player like uh, a Morant. Sometimes, like I said, some of these players make you worse when they're in, not because they're terrible players, but the chemistry's bad or uh, they're to overvalued that player, right? I think mean, that's what I think about. Uh, when I see it. So I think I'm going against Ray here. I bond the under <laughs> in the game between Dallas and Memphis. I'm going to fade that steam here tonight. I'm trying to find a rhythm a little bit in hoop and I'm getting a little bit of value here at 228 and a half. Like I said, uh, uh, I think for me, uh, when you see a series history uh, a little bit and 
um, that series history kind of relates to uh, uh, teams that play more frequently, right? Seven of the last eight have gone under basically, you know, the last several meetings with this. Maybe not this raw. You think of Morant being out but and Adams. Okay. 